I am a biology graduate student studying the genetics of Philippine birds at the University of Alaska Museum in Fairbanks, Alaska. Over 7,000 islands make up the Philippine archipelago, where over 500 species of birds live. Most of the birds I study are endemic to the Philippines, or found nowhere else. Others are migratory and even breed in places as far away as Alaska. I collect birds from the jungles to bring back to the University in Alaska where I can study the morphology and the genetics to ask questions about relatedness and evolution and the process of speciation in birds in the tropics. Once back at the museum, I spend long hours in the lab, preparing museum study skins and processing the data. My work involves both traditional museum study skins as well as frozen tissues for genetic comparisons. Here I am removing frozen tissue from our liquid nitrogen containers where I will perform a DNA extraction so that I can generate DNA sequence data. Before I can compare the DNA of specific individuals and populations of birds, I must first produce polymerase chain reaction products from which I can generate genetic sequence data. Here I am preparing an agarose gel to visualize my PCR products. I use ultraviolet light to visualize my target DNA. The bright bands show the section of DNA from the mitochondrial genome that I am studying. Sometimes I have too many bands, and I have to then manually extract the section of the DNA that I want to sequence. Completed PCR products can then be sent to a high-throughput sequencing facility in Washington where the actual genetic code can be read. Each colored peak on this chromatogram represent individual nucleotides in the sequence of one individual bird. Completed sequence data, read as A's, T's, C's, and G's, can then be used to infer differences between populations and to understand the distribution of genetic variation within species spread across tropical archipelagos. My research has important implications both for the understanding of the speciation process in the tropics as well as for the conservation of the Philippines' many diverse species of birds. I hope you've enjoyed this short video about my research on birds in the Philippines. Thanks for watching!